We start with breaking news. A massive drug ring busted in Colorado. And it could be the largest of its kind ever in the state. The cocaine trafficking ring was based out of Mexico. The drugs smuggled into Los Angeles and then ultimately brought to Denver for distribution. And 7 News has learned this violent bank robbery two years ago helped break the case wide open. We have team coverage of these arrests, including Call 7 investigator John Ferrugia, who broke the story, Marshall Zellinger, who's tracking the suspect's first court appearances, and we start with 7 News reporter Dale Cedars, who's uncovering the details about how all this went down. Dale? Mike, it all started around 5, 6 o'clock this morning in neighborhoods like this one here in Denver. All across the metro area, around 500 law enforcement officers went out and raided 97 homes. Take a look. These are the men and the women arrested, a total of 80 people. They run the gamut from street dealers to traffickers, moving cocaine, crack, and even meth across state lines. Hundreds of thousands of dollars have been seized. 7 News has learned at least 10 guns were found in Adams County alone. 25 different law enforcement agencies, both local and federal, joined together for this massive drug operation, encompassing four different drug operations. Now, we've uncovered this involved numerous gangs here in the metro area, and we're told these men and women are violent, they're the worst of the worst, and all of the drugs that made it here were going to be sold right here in the metro area. This investigation, we're told, is far from over. We will glean a lot of intelligence because of the people that we have pulled in today. Um, during the prosecutive phase, we will learn more and more about the individual gangs involved and the drug sets involved. And then we will share that information immediately and push that intelligence to the different states and different regions that it affects and try to really follow the rat line uh, wherever it takes us. Now, the arrests this morning were a culmination of around a two-year investigation into these four different drug rings. As we mentioned, we are told this is not the end. On a side note, there were about a dozen kids who were taken from the homes raided this morning. Reporting live in Denver, Dale Cedar, 7 News. All right, Dale, thank you. And we continue with Call 7 investigator John Frugian. John, you broke the news that this investigation began after a series of robberies. That's right, Ann. Sources told me early today it was an investigation into the CMG Bloods gang who were involved in the violent hopping and hooded robberies in Denver and Aurora. That gang was also involved in the cocaine business. Over the past two years, the FBI and local law enforcement in both Denver and Aurora made arrests in several cases where hooded bandits, brandishing guns, hopped over counters holding tellers at gunpoint, robbing area banks. Sources say they were part of the CMG Bloods Gang, a violent and dangerous group based in California. Federal and local officials made it clear breaking down this group was key to the investigation. Those were extraordinary events in our communities that terrorized our citizens. And it's that work, at least with regard to the Metro Gang Task Force, that led us to focus on some of these individuals. From those arrests and other intelligence, state and local agencies who had been investigating cocaine distribution in Colorado began to work their way up the chain that led to Los Angeles and eventually to criminal sources in Mexico. So far, there have been scores of arrests in the metro area, several arrests in Los Angeles, and in Mexico, several people have been identified and charged, but arrest and extradition could take months. Obviously, with today's arrest, as you heard the FBI say, that have included now Mexican nationals, we understand. Federal and local investigators are hoping they can glean a lot more intelligence about the distribution of the cocaine and maybe other drugs, including meth, in the metro area. So, again, this is just the beginning. A lot yeah. more to come on this bust. Yeah, this is huge. Yeah, right. it is. It's big. Thank you, John. Our team coverage continues with 7 News reporter Marshall Zellinger, who's just stepped outside the federal courthouse. Marshall, the, the long line of people arrested has been going before this judge for the past three hours. Mike, that last group just started in the last 10 minutes. I counted about 18 people being taken into the jury box to be in front of a federal judge to learn the charges they're facing. And about 35 people have been taken to the second floor of the courthouse, the federal courthouse here. It's actually on the second floor of that glass building behind me. And they've all been in front of that federal judge to learn what they're facing. But they had to be divided into three different groups because there are so many. But they've all been taken into that jury box so that they could be listened to or be talked to in groups. Uh, the thing I found most surprising is none of them are in jail jumpsuits. They are all wearing the clothes that they had on when they were arrested this morning. But by sitting in the courtroom, I also learned that they will all be in custody until at least Tuesday. That's when they'll find out if they can post, pump, post bond. Outside of the courthouse, I spoke with a few uh, women who were at home when their husbands and boyfriends were arrested this morning. One woman told me that she was zip tied behind her back while authorities searched the home. A second woman said she heard her baby crying this morning, 
probably because police were knocking on the door. She said that happened at 6.17 a.m., and a third woman told me that she and her dogs had been kicked out of their own house so that police could come in and search with police dogs, something that happened across dozens of homes across the metro area early this morning. We're live in downtown Denver. Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Early some scope on this story. Thank you, Marshall. You can follow this story and read details about the past of many of those arrested on thedenverchannel.com or by following us on Twitter and Facebook.